The setup I am using to benchmark here now has an i9-9900KF with 32 gigs of 2400 MHz RAM and a 250 GB SSD with a 500 GB HDD. The GPU of course is a GT1030. The GT1030 is a really powerful graphics card for its price. It is cheap but also really powerful for a cheap old graphics card. The 1030 I have here is the colorful version of the 1030 I bought for around 110 US dollars. It is the GDDR5 version with 2 gigs of VRAM. If you are planning to buy the 1030 beware of the GDDR4 version. Though it comes with 4 gigs of VRAM the GPU is much less powerful than the GDDR5 card. I think the only downside of this GT1030 is that the VRAM that it comes with is really low in the GDDR5 version. Today I will be showing you all the power of the GT1030. First let's start with Minecraft with some shaders. This is Siller's Vibrant Light Shaders and the GT1030 can handle it surprisingly well as you can see in the benchmarks. Now, let's try out Siller's Extreme Vibrant Shaders. As you can see here, the card can handle it pretty okay, it is playable and the graphics do look nice, also, one thing I notice is that there is some screen tearing. Anyway, let's try out Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Okay, let's go to a more dense place.
As you can see here, the card can handle it nicely at 720p with the lowest preset with 80% scaling. We are getting around a playable 30-ish FPS here, but in the benchmarks I was getting around 30 to 55 FPS, 30 in some busy areas, and 45 and above in empty places. There is a bit of stuttering, as you can tell by the 1 and 0.1% lows, there are a lot of dips, this is probably because of the VRAM not being enough, and the GPU swapping out VRAM with system memory, which causes stutter and dips in FPS. I noticed that since I noticed the system memory fluctuating constantly while the game was stuttering.